हेलो फ्रेंड्स द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग फॉर एनी वन इज देअर होम वी ऑल वॉन्टेड टू बी द बेस्ट स्ट्रॉंग लग्जरियस स्टाइलिश एवरीथिंग परफेक्ट बट इन दिस प्रोसेस वी ऑफन स्पेंड ऑन थिंग्स वी डोंट इवन नीड हाउ डज दैट एक्स्ट्रा स्पेंडिंग हैपन दैट इज एक्जैक्टली वॉट आई विल शो यू इन दिस वीडियो एंड विथ कंस्ट्रक्शन कॉस्ट राइजिंग एवरी डे it is more important than ever to know where your money should and should not go so here is the first thing you need to remember whenever you build a house the elevation is where most of your money goes and naturally we all want it to look beautiful right that is the first thing people see from the outside no one sees the inside so what do we do we start adding extra designs heavy patterns in plaster jalis and all sorts of decorative work things that honestly are no longer needed if you are going for a traditional style house keep the elevation simple and classy a clean premium look will not only require less maintenance but also never go out of style avoid those heavy plaster designs they just don't look appealing anymore even decorative jalis on the parapet are outdated by keeping it simple and elegant you can actually save 1 to 1.5 lakh rupees on a small house and even more for a larger one so this is one of the biggest mistakes people make during house construction trying to over design if you want that luxury traditional vibe remember simplicity is the real luxury the next mistake is stair gaze Sometimes people get impressed by what they see at someone else's house like those fancy folding stairs without a waste slab underneath just the underside visible but honestly what is the point either you will end up covering it later or it just stays plain like that and to be frank it is neither nice to look at nor practical on top of that it needs extra labor extra time more shuttering and even more concrete basically everything becomes more expensive so why go through all that just make a simple staircase it is the best no issues no complications and you save a good 40000 rupees easily next comes the false ceiling and honestly most of us make it just because we have seen it in someone else home the truth there is no real need for it in fact these bulky false ceilings are outdated now they don't look good anymore and they don't serve much purpose here is the smarter move if you want to save a lakh rupees yes because in a 1000 square feet house a false ceiling easily costs 1 to 1.5 lakh rupees skip it go for a plain ceiling instead while casting your slab simply leave points for profile lights first decide the kind of lighting design you want leave the points for it and you will get the same modern look at half the cost and if you don't even want profile lights no problem go for surface lights track lights or other trendy lighting options available today all these can be installed without a false ceiling just leave the points during the slab casting or if you have already done plastering cut small wiring grooves it is quick and easy next comes the expense on doors now if you go for wooden doors whether it is teak poplar or any other wood you are looking at around 20000 rupees per door that is because you are paying for the wood the labor the polishing everything but honestly my personal favorite is laminated door I don't think there is anything better. You simply take a board or block board, paste laminate on it, and that's it. You get a stylish, durable door at a fraction of cost. Another great option is flush doors. You will find good quality ready-made ones in the market for around six thousand rupees to seven thousand rupees. WPC doors are also available along with other materials. If you choose these budget friendly options instead of heavy solid wood you can easily save 20000 to 25000 rupees in your house construction 
The next mistake people make in house construction is plot size. No matter the plot size, thousand square feet, two thousand, eight hundred, nine hundred, whatever, they build on the entire area. And honestly, that is the most useless thing you can do. You end up with no garden, no nice parking space, nothing. Here is what I suggest: if you have thousand square feet, build on just five hundred to six hundred square feet. Make it double story, or even triple story if you need more rooms. This way, you save massively on foundation cost, which are usually two fifty to three hundred rupees per square feet. Do the math. If you leave even hundred square feet open, you save even thirty five thousand to forty thousand rupees. Leave two hundred square feet, save even more. Plus, your house will actually look more luxurious because. A double story or triple story design gives you a better elevation and a more premium look. So whatever your plot size, build on only half or 60 to 70 percent of it. If you need 2 BHK or 3 BHK, just go vertical. Leave a garden in front. It is not just beautiful; it is smart and cost effective. Now the next big mistake. This happens when we get electrical or plumbing work done. Let us talk about electrical first. Most people just leave the entire thing to the electrician. Their charges are usually per point. That is where they can fool you. First, by adding unnecessary points, and second, by giving extra ones you never asked for. For example, you will see a switchboard with three or four switches, but the rest of the spaces are empty. Guess what? You have still paid. For those empty points, the labor, the wiring, and even the material cost. That is why I always say, before starting, make a proper layout. Decide exactly where you want a switch, where the fan switch should be. Maybe add one or two extra points for future use, and that's it. Don't let them decide for you. Otherwise, your bill will shoot up. The same thing applies to plumbing. Plumbers also charge per point. Instead of this, I prefer giving them a rate per square feet or per bathroom. That way, billing becomes easier, and you end up saving money too. The biggest mistake people make when building a house, and where they get fooled the most, is this: you go to a contractor and say, "You make the plan. The map will be yours. Everything will be handled by you. We trust you." You just build it. Never do that. If you are building a house, you should be in control, not the contractor. Because if the contractor makes the plan, do you know what happens? If the slab area is a little bigger, he benefits. The more balconies in the design, he benefits. And then in the same plan, he can quietly reduce the amount of steel, because you have already told him. You make the plan. You arrange the materials. Just tell me the cost per square feet. So he will say twelve hundred rupees per square feet. You will feel happy. The market rate is fourteen hundred rupees, and he is giving twelve hundred rupees. But here is the truth. He has made the plan for twelve hundred rupees. It will look big, but it will be weak. Not all, but some contractors do this. So hire your own architect. And a separate contractor, both stay happy, both do their job well. If you rely only on the contractor, you will end up spending one to two lakh rupees more, and still get poor quality. Whenever you build a house, follow this simple rule: you will save money, get a stronger home, and need less maintenance. First, plan with your family, list exactly what you need, take it to a good architect, and get the plan made. Then meet three to four local contractors, see their work, and ask for per square feet rates, with and without material. Once you choose, make a clear agreement. Write the rate, total slab area, total cost, and exactly what is included and excluded. Then start the work. No stress, no cheating, just a perfect house. If you want to save money on steel, here is the deal. You will find two types in the market: primary and secondary. 
primary is brands like tata or jindal made from iron ore secondary is brands like kamdenu made by melting old steel for smaller residential buildings secondary steel from a reputed brand with is marking and fe 550 grade can work but always verify quality with a mill test certificate it is strong and since it is 10 to 15 rupees cheaper per kg you will save 30000 to 35000 rupees easily now let us talk about cement these days companies tweak the technology a bit or just change the packaging and suddenly a cement bag that was 390 rupees is now 450 rupees why because they know you will think we are building once so we should use the best and that is where the company benefits and you lose my advice choose a brand that is isi certified and locally trusted the grade 43 53 or ppc matters more than flashy packaging you can go for ambuja ultratech acc etc the extra 50 to 60 rupees per bag might seem small but when you need 400 to 500 bags it becomes a big amount save it the real strength comes from proper mixing correct cement quantity controlled water and using the vibrator properly during concreting not from fancy packaging if you buy the most expensive cement but mix it wrong your concrete will still be weak the point is even simple cement works perfectly fine if the mix is right and your house will still be strong now when it comes to windows and doors wooden windows can cost almost double for example you might spend 80000 rupees on wood but with aluminium you can get great quality for 50000 to 55000 rupees in the same color plus wood needs termite treatment regular painting and extra maintenance aluminium on the other hand comes in many colors and designs and it is hassle free i would say go for aluminium when it comes to flooring it is the biggest expense many people go for marble or granite marble at around 250 rupees per square feet is fine but after 5 years you will face polishing stains and maintenance issues i say go for vitrified tiles instead they last 15 to 20 years and today's quality is so good it can look better than marble use the same color across the house it saves money and gives a seamless look my picks white beige or pastel shades they will match any interior look elegant and still keep that traditional charm when it comes to painting many people see colors online or in the shop and then get them customized but here is the thing customized colors cost almost double if normal paint is around 400 rupees per liter customized can go up to 800 to 900 rupees per liter honestly there is no need to keep your interiors looking good and save money after plastering just do two coats of putty apply a primer and you are set if you still want paint go for a simple white coat or if you prefer color choose from premade pastel shades they look great and cost much less no customization needed when it comes to furniture here is smart tip for decorative pieces like a tv unit shoe rack or console unit basically where you don't sit and it is more for looks or light storage go for ready made you will get them at half the price and they can still look stylish luxurious and even traditional if that is your test for functional furniture like beds wardrobes or sofas you can either have them made by a carpenter or buy them ready made depending on your preference and budget but for decorative furniture even buying online works well and saves a lot of money these 13 tips i have shared won't affect your house strength or quality at all in fact your home will still be strong require less maintenance and you will save at least 3 to 4 lakh rupees actually even more in many cases follow them and you will have a solid beautiful home without overspending 
So friends, tell me in the comments which tip you found most useful and which one you think was the least useful. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.